Hello, hello. Welcome to this special uh, Tuesday show. Um, I am Sarah Ayler from softlexcompany.com, and I don't normally go live on Tuesdays, but we have a busy week ahead, and I have been out for two weeks, as many of you know, um, taking care of my husband. And I was a little concerned that, um, let me go to here, I was a little concerned that uh, we have a guest tomorrow. Uh, her name is Sandra Dotson. We met her at Craftcation. Kristen took one of her classes um, at Craftcation. And I was a little worried that we would, and she's a brand new guest. I was a little worried we were going to jump on and I've been gone um, dealing with some major life issues as a lot of you have um, heard about. And I'll talk a little bit about that. Hopefully I don't end up in a um, bumbling set of tears because that happens a lot. Um, but I'm going to do my best. At any rate, I didn't want to go live with, with poor Sandra tomorrow and be bombarded with questions about um, my husband and take over her hour because uh, I think it's going to be really special. She's teaching us a beautiful craft wire pendant and I want to stay real focused on her tomorrow. So I thought it was important to hop on today and um, give you guys an update. I have a ton of beautiful beads in front of me that we have been adding to the store recently that I kind of want to dig into and make something um, fun and easy. A little bit of bead therapy. I love you too. Um, at any rate, we're still waiting on results from his biopsy. He, uh, if you haven't seen for um, for some reason, it's I feel like it's been everywhere on the internet, but I know a lot of people still haven't seen. My husband has an inoperable brain tumor and we are working through it um, and he's doing okay. Um, and unfortunately, when these things happen, life still has to go on. And so I'm, you know, doing the very best I can. And I'm just so grateful and thankful for all of you who have left us messages and donated and wished us, um, you know, wished us well, sent prayers and good energy, chanted, all of those things above, they're all, um, they're all beautiful and wonderful. And we really appreciate you. Um, when you work for a small business, though, it's very hard to take time off, um, especially when you play a pivotal front face role um, for the company. And so I am back in action this week. Um, and I kind of just, I said to everybody on the team, I just wanted to sort of rip the Band-Aid off today and just get it out of the way, um, maybe shed some tears, but mostly jump into beating again, which I've been doing nonstop throughout. And I'll show you some of the things I've been making, but um, behind the scenes. So um, that's what I'm going to do today. And that way we don't take over. We've got this beautiful pendant tomorrow with Sandra Dotson. I hope you'll tune in at 3 p.m. Pacific, uh, 6 p.m. Eastern uh, using our Softlex craft wire. And then we have a wonderful Monster Mash jewelry making party happening Thursday and Friday. I'm hosting on Thursday and then Kristen is hosting on Friday. Um, so it's just like a big week and I just kind of got to get, get my groove back together. Thank you for all of your beautiful wishes. Like I said, I we have feel, felt so lifted by all of you. Um, widespread in the beating community, there's been so much love and support. Um, and you can follow along on our Caring Bridge website, which I saw Damien posted uh, to get updates there. That's the best place to get updated. I, I initially was just exhausted just updating people on what was going on. So I finally just made one place uh, where everybody can kind of look to find out more about uh, Joshua and how he's doing. Um, so that's the place to go look. And if you've donated, thank you for that. We really appreciate that too. Um, we feel, you know, we just feel very blessed, loved and cared for. 
So thank you very much. Um, let me switch down to my hand cam. And that way you don't have to see my big cryy face. <laughs> I need to find some tissues. I think my house is almost out of tissues. I've used just about every tissue you could possibly find around here. Uh, okay, so let's talk a little bit about what I've been making as we've been going through uh, this journey. Joshua had to have a biopsy, which means they had to they had to stick a needle in his brain and take a little bit of the tumor out to get a better look at it. And so he basically had brain surgery uh, last Monday. And boy, oh boy, can I tell you that is a super stressful situation. Um, so I, I very smartly had purchased this beautiful kit. It's actually a bracelet kit from Jill Wiseman. Uh, and I had purchased it probably a couple years ago, just thinking it was so pretty and it was looked really hard, but I was like, someday I'm going to make that kit. And I broke that open, uh, during his surgery and it was probably the best thing I could have done for myself because I had to think only about this for as long as I was working on it. Otherwise, I would end up getting a knot or miss a bead or, you know, there were so many different things that could happen. And so it really focused my energy. And um, I, I did feel like once I had gotten through, um, I did half of it in the morning during his surgery, and then I did half of it at night because we stayed overnight at the hospital. Um, and when I got to here, I was like, you know what? I just don't think I'm going to be able to do this as a whole bracelet. It was a beautiful thing to do as a piece. And so I made this part up at the top and made it into a sweet little pendant. Um, and it turned out great. It's really pretty. So if you're looking for some really nice kits like this, you get the instructions from a different designer on Etsy. I wish I remembered her name. I don't have it right here. Um, but you can, you can get the beads and everything you need from Jill, and then you just go on Etsy and spend like three or $4 to get the pattern. Um, so that's what I did that day. The next day, <laughs> the next day I broke open another Jill Wiseman kit that I had been hoarding. When Swarovski was going out of business, she was doing these beautiful bangle bracelet kits. And I ordered three of them. And so in the last week, I have seed bead woven three of these beautiful bracelets. They are so pretty and pretty easy to put together. This is more my speed for sure. Um, so that's another great kit that you can get from Jill. But there's so many designers out there that have great kits. I've got a pile of them that I just haven't been able to get to. So it's been really kind of lovely in that way that I don't have to do a lot of thinking. I can just kind of follow someone else's instructions to make something fabulous and it keeps my brain busy, which is super helpful. Um, obviously I missed uh, kit week last week. That was tough, um, but we were still all kind of recovering from getting home from the hospital and settling back in. You know, I have three kids, so I mean, this is his, been not only tough on me and Joshua, but tough on them too. So they needed some major attention and I was just not ready to go live uh, quite yet. I don't know that I'm even ready today, but here I am. Hello. <laughs> anyway, um, so I opened my Halloween hustle kit on Thursday or Friday of last week all by myself, which was not nearly as fun as doing it with all of you. And I was going to make an Instagram reel, but of course, you know, when things are going wrong, then everything goes wrong. So Instagram was not operating for me for whatever reason. Um, I tried for probably a good half hour to get it to record a video and it wouldn't. And so finally I gave up and I said, who cares? I'm just going to make a bracelet for me. And then I'm going to post a picture of it. And that's as good as it's going to get. <laughs> That was like, I think that was the same day that our 
broken sprinklers all of a sudden turned on. They haven't been turned on in two years. All of a sudden turned on in the alleyway and were erupting water. And I had got, my kids talked me into getting a fog machine for Halloween for the front um, before I knew everything that was happening. They usually get one new Halloween thing every year. And I ordered them this, you know, inexpensive fog machine. Well, then I realized you had to have fog juice for the fog machine. So I ordered that. Well, a whole like gallon and a half of it poured out all over my Amazon box. So <laughs> I had like geysers of water. I had Amazon boxes that are soaking wet with everything in them covered in fog machine juice. And then I had this Instagram thing that would not work. And I just thought, geez, I just, I need to go back to bed and throw the covers over my head or something. <laughs> just like, when it rains, it pours. I do love this bracelet. I have been wearing this. I like that it's a Halloween vibe, but it's not overtly Halloween. I always kind of like that where I can get that Halloween feel, but it's not overly Halloween. And then I just like how those colors came together, like the oranges and the purples, and the blacks and the whites. Really, really pretty. So I've been wearing that. I've actually been wearing it a lot with these two bracelets. Funny enough, they actually all go together really nicely. Um, so I've worn those several times this week. So that's what I've been doing in the background. I've just been kind of crazy making, um, using up kits and things that I have here. Um, so today I just wanted to look at some of the new beads we've added into the shop. I hope you guys will think about shopping from softluxcompany.com this week. Uh, when we, because we are a small business and because I do so many of our videos, you know, when I go away, sometimes our sales just go bloop, bloop, bloop. They just plummet. And that's tough. Um, it's tough on me because it requires me to be here regularly, but it's also tough on my coworkers. Um, so I hope you will think about shopping from Softlex this week and show us a little bit of love if you have um, have the opportunity. We have these great owls. I love these owls. I made these fantastic earrings a few years ago that had just like a chain tassel coming down from an owl like this. I think I lost one of them, which was a super big bummer. Um, so I was thinking about making a pair of owl earrings, I think today. You can get them in the three different colors. You can get the Kristen Fagan color. You can get the Sarah Ayler color. And then this is sort of an in-between. We both kind of love this color. Um, and I might use these little birds because they're just so cute. Did you guys see our new theme is birds of a feather? And it's super pretty. The bead strand that goes with it like says it all. It's a really pretty kit. Uh, we spent a good deal of time making it super special. I hope you guys will check that out at softluxcompany.com. I think we're out of customer appreciation week kits, or excuse me, uh, TGBE Fall Fest kits. That's what we've got. Um, I think those sold out. That's one of our next events coming up as well. Kristen and I will be pre-recording our show this time, um, but... I think I'll still be there uh, in the chat. Kristen's traveling here that day because um, Mike, Mike's celebration of life is the day after because I don't have enough to deal with. Um, we also had, you know, one of my best and closest friends pass away, um, one of the owners of Softlex. So, We'll be celebrating him that weekend, um, but we will still be there with you in spirit and then in the chat, uh, most likely. Okay. Man, this is hard, but we're going to keep going. Um, I'm going to grab these. I think I'm going to do this bone color. Oh, although this copper wash might be nice. Let's see how this kind of looks with... I had to scramble to see what... Um, 
I had to scramble to see what we even have left in Tierra Cast. You guys have been clearing us out on that. But we did get a restock on a few things. That looks kind of pretty, doesn't it? I like the copper on copper. Let's see what the bone and gold kind of looks like. So that could be really pretty too. Hmm. I feel like you can see the owl better. Let's see this turquoise. I always like turquoise and copper. Ooh. That should I just go for like my love language color today? I think I might need to do that. It's a love language kind of day. Let's just go turquoise, turquoise, turquoise. <laughs> Make it easy on ourselves. <laughs> All right. I have no idea what I'm making yet. I'm just going to play around um, with it. I was thinking about, I don't know. I was thinking about doing maybe like a couple things from that turquoise owl. But I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I want to do quite yet. Ooh, this might be pretty. That color is really nice. With that, let's open this up. Thank you, Janelda. It's, it's a super hard time. I would go so far as to say the hardest time of my, of my entire life. It's, it's like, really unbelievable. I would have never guessed. Like I've said a few times and I said on the Caring Bridge website, my husband played a pickup soccer game like five weeks ago and now he can barely walk around the block. I mean, especially since surgery, he's just so weak. His whole left side is just really having a hard time. So it's hard to see um, someone you love have such a difficult time. Okay, I'm going to make my top loop. Beads make everything better. I'll tell you what though, they sure make everything better. And so does like love and support from lots of different people out there. That also makes everything feel a lot better. I definitely do not feel lonely or um, unappreciated or, you know, any of those things. I, you guys have made me feel really loved. So thank you. And a trim. I'm super excited for Sandra tomorrow. Uh, Kristen took her class uh, at Craftcation. I don't know if you guys remember when we went to to Craftcation. Um, she took her class and she thought it was just so good. And so she's been working with her this year to bring her in to do a beating party. And it's finally the day she's coming. So I got a little worried when I thought about it last night. I was like, I just don't want her to feel like, I don't, you know, oh, we're stuck talking about Sarah's husband when, you know, we really should be talking about her. So thank you guys for letting me jump on today and like, get that out of the way and also just get back to doing videos again. It's like a whole different world. I'm making a nice big circle here because I don't know if I want to attach other things to it. I'm still kind of deciding what I'm doing. So I'm just going to make it a big circle and then I can decide what to do with that um, big circle later. If I want to add something to it, I can. I'm not stuck. And I'm just gonna wrap up to my owl. Now, if you want your owl to face a certain way, one of the best ways to do that is to wrap up the back side of the owl. 
So you kind of get yourself situated, like I want this to hang this way. And so now I'm gonna come up the back. And if you wanna straighten it, you can always take your nylon jaw pliers to get a nice straight and then come around and that's going to help it to stay whichever direction you've chosen for it to hang. So then when I go in and I hang this from my ear wire, probably going to want this to face this way so that it attaches to the ear wire. And that way I'm going to get a nice straight look at my owl and it's not going to be spinning sideways on me. And then you can just trim this right off. I'm already loving these. I may not need to do nearly anything else with them. <laughs> this, this might be it. Although I do love that there's a little connection point at the bottom too. Let me see how long they are right now. They're pretty long. So I was thinking about taking maybe one of these, maybe one of these. This is really pretty, this color. I'm doing a little dangle. Let's try it. If I don't like it, I can always cut it back off. Add a little, little something there. Um, we don't have these anymore. But I might use one because I have them. And maybe some of you have them out there. The little acorn things. I think we sold out of these. Or, you know, tear cast is getting sparse. But they would look so cute on the top of this. How cute is that? It would look really cute. I don't know if it'll sit nicely though. Now that I'm thinking about it, it might be better from the bottom if I were to do that. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's going to probably make it go wonky. Well, I could do a separate little piece, little earring, just like that. Look at how cute those little acorn toppers are. Did you guys get any of these before they sold out of them? Do we still have any of these? I don't think we do. I barely got to use these. You guys just snapped them up. And I, I don't think I used them on almost any projects. I'm trying to see what I have in this bag of, that, one, that one's cute too. We didn't, we didn't buy this one, but it sure is cute. I'm gonna use it. This is the kind of project where you can kind of just go into your findings bin too and find a few things that you've been holding on to. And um, look at how cute that little leaf will look. It'd look prettier if I had it in gold. I wish I had one in gold because it would match that wash on the top there. Okay, let's, um, let's make this little thing. I'm going to use the 22 gauge. Roll. I saw um, Candy Cooper had a really cool in person um, thing going on last weekend. I tuned into that a little bit. That was a nice uh, way to keep myself occupied, too. Looked like a ton of fun. I know some people have been launching their kits for upcoming Fall Fest. So keep an eye out for that. I think our special guest got announced. Um, we are going to have Gail uh, Crossman Moore as the special guest for uh, Fall Fest. And I think she's going to be teaching you kind of a similar thing to what she taught Kristen and I at Bead Fest in Pennsylvania. 
So I think she's going to have some kit options. She's going to teach you about making your own shrinking dink components. Um, and it's going to be super cool. I think you guys are going to love it. I'm very excited for you. So I just make, made a loose knot in my craft wire. My bead isn't going to be able to take two pieces of craft wire. So I'm going to bend this. And then I'm just going to wrap around the bottom whoop, without dropping it. Just making kind of like a little ornamental head pin out of my Softflex craft wire. I'm so excited that Gail is our special guest. She is going to blow your socks off. She is an artist, artist, artist. She just, she is so creative and smart and thoughtful. And I, I've known her for years, but I really got to know her pretty well during our class because I got to spend a little more quality time with her. Um, and I've always loved her, but I was really, she's really a great teacher and just so creative Totally, Kristen. Thank you, Wanda. We put a lot of work into uh, the TGBE and it's always worth it because everybody enjoys it so much. And it's, uh, it's great for all of the presenters too. You guys are always so supportive of the presenters and um, and that's good for, for everybody because we're all small businesses just trying to get by. I wish I knew where my chain nose pliers went. Somewhere in this, maybe I can get my round nose pliers out. Somewhere in this um, making of things the last two weeks, I have set down my chain nose pliers somewhere and I cannot locate them. I probably have like six more pairs upstairs, but you know how you have your favorite pair of something and you're like, oh, where did it go? <laughs> I must find it. Okay. So I'm just wrapping now around. And if you want to make it ornamental, you could wrap around the base like I did on the back here. You could do that on the front of this melon. Um, sometimes that looks really pretty. I think I'm just gonna trim off today and close this down. So make sure you've got the TGBE Fall Fest on your calendar. You are planning on spending some time that weekend because it's gonna be a good one. We have um, some new things coming that week. We are collaborating with Danielle Wicks on something really special to offer to you. Um, and I think you're going to love it. So we're going to have that. Um, we also have some beautiful flowers that are going into the shop tomorrow that I'm very excited to play with. And in fact, if you don't like owls, you could take one of those flowers and replace it in this design. And it would look really, really pretty. So I, um, I can grab a craft wire ear wire, or I can just make it myself. I need a 20 gauge wire though. Let me just grab, today I'm just gonna grab some. I have a big bag of copper ones over here. Let's see what I have in here. Oh, I've got some nice ones too. Let's just keep it easy and light, huh? I don't need anything too troubling, <laughs> to tell you the truth. I am just barely, barely making it. <laughs> Ooh, these are so good for fall, you guys. They're so good. Do you? Does anybody have this fern leaf in their stash waiting to go? 
I think we have some more of these on the Softlux Company website. We definitely have the drops. We definitely have the owls and the craft fire. So if you love this earring, you can make it in a few different, um, few different formulas. Because I think we have like the brass color. We might have the silver or the gold. I feel like there were three metal tones left in the ferns. Um, and then we have three different colors of owls. So, ooh, that would have been nice too. This little bone colored owl in there. Pop that in. That would have looked really pretty as well. Um, or the Kristen Fagan special, olive green and copper. As soon as I saw these, Kristen, I knew. I was like, oh, wait till Kristen notices that there's flecks of green on these. <laughs> She's going to love it. I don't think I knew that when I ordered them. I just was like, oh, they're a nice kind of fall color. Uh, you could replace it with one of these birds of, of a feather strands, too. Like the black one would look kind of fun. If you like something a little smaller and daintier, that would be good. And then there's a bunch of different drops. So you can mix and match your colors and make them your own. Um, and yeah, super cute. Maybe I'll even make a little bracelet to match it. I've got a whole strand here. So it would be easy to do a similar style bracelet to the Sugar Skull. Grab out a few beads from a bead mix um, or use the rest of these pretty beads. Oh, and then maybe that's where I can use my little, okay, we'll make it, we'll make a quick bracelet too. And then I'll make my second earring on my own time. So let's pull this and this and this for my earring so that that definitely doesn't get used because that's always the pits when you use the like one bead you need to finish your earring and you've used it in a bracelet. Okay, so now I need some softlux beading wire. Let's see where I have that located here. And it looks like a copper color would be good. Let's see. There's some copper. Could always use turquoise as well. It's a little brighter than this, but could work. Get both of those out. I wonder if I have that thistle as a button. I was looking. Ooh, I do. A thistle button. Just when I need it. I love when things kind of come together. Um, okay. Um, let's see. Um, maybe I will use the turquoise color. It's so pretty. I'm going to go for it. So I'm going to cut off a decent amount. And then I was thinking about doing kind of a similar shape to my sugar skull. So for a center bead, I have some of these copper daisy spacers. I have no idea if these are still in the shop or not. Probably not, but maybe. I have a copper, copper daisy spacer, and then I will do an owl in each direction and see how that feels. It may not feel big enough. Hmm, I think it's okay. All right, um, more some more of those daisy spacers. Let's do one on each side of my owl, and then 
do that. And okay, I wonder. How I'll feel if I do this on just one of these on each side. Oh, it's so cute. Ah, it's so cute. How cute is that so far? Oh my gosh, I love it. Let's see, grab a couple more of these. I was like, I have no idea what I'm going to make today. I'm just going to take out a little bit of everything <laughs> and figure it out and figure it out from there. Um, this is about the right size. So it looks like I would go. One more of these on each side. And then an owl. Let me see how that feels. That's looking pretty good. Okay, so I'm gonna grab a, I wish I had a bead stopper right here. Let's see if there's one close by. Oh yeah, here's one. And it's even a fall orange one. And clip that on one end. Oh, that's so pretty, you guys. Let's turn it out good. Where nothing makes me happier than making. And I've been doing a lot of it. The kids and I have been doing a lot of art projects, a lot of art projects. I got them into a class through their charter school that's all about feelings. So they've been working on that. And then I'm working to find them somebody to talk to just in case they need to talk to anyone because this is huge life stuff happening for them and um i don't want them to feel you know like they can't express themselves because daddy and i are so stressed out about everything so in the meantime we've been doing a lot of art and, um, and they're back to school, homeschool, so with me. But even that, we're, I'm, I'm focusing more on their feelings than making sure we do everything just right, you know? Okay. Here's where we're going to get tricky. We're going to come down to the bottom of the owl, and we're going to go back in again. But one thing we want to be very careful of, and especially in this kind of design where you have like a bigger bead, you want to make sure you are crimping it in a circle so that there is a, a slack for when you wear it as a bracelet. Sometimes people crimp things straight like this and you don't leave enough room. See that little bit of tiny room is needed to make it into a comfortable circle. The other thing we want to do is we don't want this to be too loose on this thistle. It should be just like a snug fit. So we want to make sure we want to make sure it fits the thistle. Like this size is too snug. Make sure it fits the thistle, but it's not sliding off the thistle super easily. It should be nice and tight there. Okay. And now I can go in, I'm going to sort of straighten out and come in and crimp. Thanks, Amber. It's hard to know what the right thing to do is, but we, in my family, we, um, 
we really prize honesty and openness and expressing of feelings. And we've been trying to teach the kids that since they were born. We keep no secrets. Like I, we don't even keep Santa Claus secrets. We keep no secrets in my family. So um, I'm hoping that that's helpful through the process that they feel included and can kind of, I don't know, be enough a part of it that they understand, but aren't um, aren't as afraid of the unknown because they they're part of it and understand what's happening. <laughs> I'm reading Thomas's comment and being quiet. Are they heavy with the leaf, Pauline asks. Oh, let me feel them. I don't feel like they are, but that's a good question. Let me feel them with that thought in mind. No, they're not. I mean, I don't think they are. Let me put them on so you can see what they look like here. I love the bracelet. I think it turned out really good. Let's see, probably actually I'll get better light on this side because it's by the window. You can see what that looks like. They don't feel heavy at all. Mm -mm. No, they're, they're long, so they're not, you know, they're not a tiny earring. Oh, I don't have, I was gonna, I was like, I'll put my second one on. I was like, oh yeah, I haven't made a second one. <laughs> That's next. <laughs> All right, I will post a picture of those onto our Instagram um, so that you can see it closer after I've made a second one. And I'll also post a picture of this beautiful bracelet. Oh my goodness. It's a nice one. I really like how that turned out. Let me see if I can put it on. Sometimes the button bracelets are... I need help. I actually have a button bracelet on already today. I like to use these little buttons. Um, I like to use these little buttons as closures. They're just super cute, easy. They stay on really well and they look, look really good. How nice is that? You can find most of the parts at softlexcompany.com. Um, but gosh, those little owls are just the sweetest. And then they look great with this melon drop too. I think that's just going to stay on my arm now, right? Who wants to take that off? <laughs> Not this gal. Okay. Um, thank you guys for tuning in today. Thank you for understanding that I'm going through something huge and... Um, I'm doing my best and I'll be here when I can and I may not be here sometimes. I did talk Miss Joyce into starting a Friday show and actually the week of TGBE, I believe, the Friday of, um, might be the 20th, Joyce will be starting a Friday morning uh, jewelry making show on behalf of Softlex Company. So now we will have a Monday, Wednesday, Friday um, for you guys to tune into, and you'll be able to find that right on the Softlux Company Facebook page and YouTube channel. Um, but I will be here, like I said, as much as I can. We'll see how things go once we know more about the tumor, then we'll be able to talk to the oncologist and get a treatment plan, and then I'll know a little bit more about what's happening. Um, big thank you to Kristen. Fagan, um, you are my rock at work. I mean, I can't even tell you guys how much Kristen had to step in, not only for me, but other co-workers in the last six weeks. And she's been amazing. So thank you, Kristen, through everyone's sickness and family sicknesses and vacations. She has really been holding down the fort and she's the real VIB, um, of our marketing team right now. So thank you, Miss Kristen. We love you. And thank you guys. Thank you for all the warm wishes. We are going to come back tomorrow, 3 p.m. Pacific, 
6 p.m. Eastern, my normal time with uh, Sandra Dotson. She's going to show us a fantastic craft wire pendant. Um, and I, I just am very excited to spend some time getting to know her and a little bit more about the kinds of projects she can do with Softflex Craft Wire. So tune in tomorrow and then we'll be back again on Thursday and Friday. I think it's the early afternoon, so maybe closer to 1 p.m. Pacific. Um, but you'll, you should check the listing um, for the exact time. And I'm sure it's you're getting emails about it too, probably. So uh, we will be back for the Monster Mash Jewelry Making Party with our friends from Jesse James Beads. We've got four amazing designers. I'm hosting on Thursday. Kristen is ho hosting on Friday. Kristen even found some spooky music um, to play. <laughs> I was like, oh boy, more technology. I got to figure out. Let me see if I can do it. <laughs> 1 to 3 p.m. Pacific, which would be 4 to 6 p.m. Eastern on Thursday and Friday. We still have some Monster Mash supply kits available, uh, but the bead kit from Jesse James Beads sold out. They made fewer bead kits than we uh, had initially agreed to on accident. And so we ended up with more supply kits, but they do have a lot of Halloween beads. So you could get our supply kit and go get a few bead mixes or bead strands from Jesse James Beads or pick up some of our Halloween beads. You know, we've got sugar skulls, we've got um, some Halloween charms, like ghosts and mummies and little black kitty cats. And you know, maybe you don't end up making the exact same thing that we make this week, but you can make your own, your own version. Um, so that's an idea too. So think about it and hopefully we'll see you uh, for that as well. It's gonna be a fun week. I'm excited to get back to beating in front of the camera. I've been beating behind the camera um, for, <laughs> for two weeks, but it's nice. It's nice to get back and see all of you. I love all of you. Thank you for tuning in again. Thank you for all the love and support. We feel very blessed to have each and every one of you in our lives. Um, and of course, uh, if you could, if you have extra funds or need some beads, please do support softlexcompany.com. It, um, it means a lot to us. All right. Love to all of you. I'll see you again tomorrow at 3 p.m. Pacific.